check it check check one two in the house one two we got a tutorial for you today I'm just chilling today I might do a few tutorials what's up I don't know but I'm gonna pop open this can of Yoohoo right now and we're gonna get things cracking up in here and this little video tip is gonna be all about JavaScript that's a very simple little tiny thing but you might find it handy too and that's why I'm sharing the tip so I'm gonna go to JavaScript and jQuery section here under the video tutorials and then I'll click this uh, text text area field counting whatever lesson I want to go to now when somebody comes to this page and they watch the video and they might want to copy and paste this text so they don't have to write it out I made it to where when they click in this div you can see this white container is a div container when the user clicks inside the div all the text gets selected that way no characters within the text might get left out in their selection because some people might miss a line or two or miss a few characters when they're highlighting everything so that's not normal functionality and you have to program that in and I'm programming it into my site to make sure that when people highlight my code to copy and paste it that they get all of it now normal functionality is let's go into the learn PHP section where I haven't applied this code yet you can see that the user has to manually drag their mouse over everything to get the code and it's possible that they might miss something and that's a problem now, I'll just apply it to a very simple page that I have here you can see that if you go into design view I just have a div sitting there and it has a couple of paragraph tags in it but it doesn't have to be a couple of paragraph tags in that div it could be any kind of content one giant long string of text or whatever so what you do is you take your target div which this is mine right here this one named div1 and you add a couple of attributes to it I'm gonna explain these attributes to you right now the first one is content editable equals true and by the way I tested this in the newest versions of Firefox Internet Explorer and Chrome okay content editable set to true is what gives us the ability to run exec commands on that element on the page if you didn't set that content editable to true the actions within this on click event would not occur for you now the second attribute is the on click event and what happens there is JavaScript so JavaScript is running within this on click event and we're using document dot exec command targeting select all which is one of the parameters you can use with exec command and I used exec command uh, many many times within the tutorial little tutorial series we did for JavaScript uh, WYSIWYG production we were making a WYSIWYG from scratch showing people how to create HTML rich text editors and we used exec command like 15 times doing different things in that lesson series so if you really want to master exec command that's a good one to follow but we run exec command on this content editable div to select all okay let's run it in Firefox let's make sure right when we click the div that it highlights everything and it does okay now let's run it in Internet Explorer allow block content okay that works and then let's run it in Chrome just to be sure and that works too all right and we're not going to run it in Safari because I hate Safari and Apple and I'm glad Apple is dead now okay so if you're somebody like me that likes to offer code or you have any kind of site that has things that need to be copy and pasted from it you want to make sure that everything gets selected when the person goes to copy and paste you can use this method for that okay so I hope some of you uber dorks find this uh, information useful I'll talk to you next lesson and goodbye, my friends.